Mics are hot. Second half, two to two. Anthony, let's hear about uh, our great sponsors. We have some sponsors. In the future, we'd appreciate more sponsors, but we are really appreciative of the sponsors that we have currently. Those sponsors are Texas Lacrosse Magazine, Momentum, bringing you quality insurance and financial services to the Woodlands for 10 years, protecting precious valuables that mean the most to you, and Partners Financial Group of Texas. The THSLL sponsors of this event here in Friendswood include, and are limited to, Spectrum Scoreboards, UTMB, Dick Sporting Goods, Greater Houston Lacrosse, The Mustang Corner, Adrenaline Lacrosse, StopTexting.com, Broom Law Firm, Southwest Refractory of Texas, Wrinkle, Gardner & Co. PC, a &I Fastener & Supply Co., Inc., Yours Truly, Stick Star Lax, Muscle Milk, Hometown Bank, TLC Animal Hospital, Whitaker Realty, Stanfield Properties, Burgess & Chiropractic, Marquee Lacrosse, Johnny Tamale, UV Country, baby. Getting those UVs today, sunny. The sun is shining. The people are singing. Make you want to move your dancing feet. Mike Brand, second half adjustments. What do you got for us? Keep going the same direction you were. You know, uh, possessing the ball, finding great looks. If it's there in transition, let's try to get one. Uh, big adjustment is hey, just relax. Finish your shots. Throw your hands. Move that goalie. Let's, uh, let's, let's take advantage of those opportunities. Let's not waste them. Yeah, it's all about taking advantage. Of this third quarter will be crucial. It was the third quarter that was massive yesterday. Levi Job wins the faceoff, gets in the play. They run a break. They're able to just hold on to it, take care of the ball, enjoy the first possession of the second half. Levi Job, story of the game so far for Rangers in terms of possession. Obviously, they complete a ton of passes and do a great job, but Levi Job has been consistently excellent at the faceoff X. Here's Jason Myers. Jesuit doing a nice little job on the backside, exchanging their two guys, making it tough to recover. They're sealing the second slide. That's a pretty good job. I like that adjustment. They had it in the first half, so it's not really an adjustment, but it's a good, that's good motion. Here's Jason Myers dodging top side. I like seeing Romano and Montgomery on defense. Very athletic lacrosse players. They take advantage of that athleticism and put them on D. Big save by Charlie Sykes. Big ground ball here. Ben Kelly getting all over it. Three on one. Gavin McClure comes with the ground ball. They swing it to the opposite side here to Jackson Buell. Got to have a one side ready. Turn the corner. Will Carney. Catches it, keeps the guy back on his back, and gets a goal. Jesuit with tons of possession time and really making this sh game shorter. Coach, a lot of these names sound familiar. A lot of these guys have older brothers that play lacrosse as well, don't they? Jackson Buell definitely does. Carson Buell had a great year this year at Rollins. Gavin McClure, younger brother of two-time All-American. Buck McClure, who's at Providence. Big time save. Move the ball right up the, to Romano. Romano looking to clear. Makes it makes an explosive move. Moves the ball to Rooney. Rooney to hug to Loftus. Loftus is going to want to enjoy this. But he does it. He finds Rooney in transition, and ESD has their first lead of the game. They have a great slow break. It seems like they're ready to settle the ball down, and they attack and have great – always have a great nose for the ball, and they know – when to attack and draw people upfield for great finishes on the backside. Well, one thing you know about Jesuit is when they get into their settled six-on-six -six defense, they're very solid. Time to attack might be in that transition period. Here's Levi Job, who's been dominating the faceoff X. Let's see if Rooney can use a little momentum and get one forward. Nope. Yep. Looks to Goose, pushing the back. That's Rooney's first win of the game. Here's Preston Crow carrying the ball on John Wheeler. John Wheeler committed to Salisbury. D3 powerhouse. Fitz carries through X. 
Fitz to Montgomery. Montgomery getting the short stick for the first time today. They're going to look to switch off, and they do. John Michael Pretty. But Montgomery's just like, I'm going to run to the right. See if you guys can switch this off. They move it to Romano, and now they look to shut Montgomery. They move it back over to Montgomery. Montgomery now has a short stick. This, uh, this midfield line's a little athletic, Coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Montgomery is pumped up. He just threw that ball over the mountains. Loftus moves the ball to Romano. Romano right here to Preston Crow. A little stutter. Got to a tough spot on the field, though. Once you beat a man, you have to get, you have to have a plan of what you're going to do, right? And here's a big ground ball. Loftus with the ground ball. He's getting whacked on by Huber. Beats his man inside. Runs through everybody off the crossbar. Jesuit needs to settle up here. Montgomery with a lefty take. Right now, some quality ESD possession time. Timeout Jesuit. ESD doing a great job of attacking space. They are very patient on offense, yet they're very dangerous at the same time. I would agree. Can't give them too much, especially with the um, the talented players. That's an early timeout. 8-18 left here in the third quarter. Third quarter's crucial. We saw Jesuit go on a second half run. Eight to nothing run to defeat the Woodlands yesterday. Right now, ESD finally kind of looks to have settled down on offense, settled in. The first half, they didn't retain possession a whole lot. All of their goals have been pretty much in transition, except for one, which was an uh, individual effort there by Joseph Rooney. Do you think we're going to see an adjustment out of Jesuit here out of this timeout? There has to be a reason to call a timeout with 818, like you said, left. Uh, maybe something very drastically that was seen that needs to be changed, or you know, an idea comes up last second. Um, and I, I wouldn't be surprised, yes, if they change up completely what they're doing after that timeout. Maybe they're trying to get some personnel on the field, get the appropriate long stick middies on the field. Or jump into a little bit of a zone look. They look like they're still in man. Move the ball over to Fitz. Fitz running hard to complete a pass to Preston Crow. No, nope, they're in man. They're extended. Shot and a save. But they just created some offense. Romano slings it righty on the run. Low. How did it find the back of the net? Defender switching with the restart. They took advantage of it. Big overpass to the top to Romano. He hitches. Shoots low to low. Goalie just wasn't ready for it. And they doubled. They're, they're doubling up on Jesuit right now. Four to two. Game of runs. Jesuit was up two to nothing. ESD with the last four. But Jesuit's not done, obviously. They'll go on a run here at some point. Here's another goose by Rooney. Rooney to Guillory. Guillory looking to skedaddle. Sometimes you got to play it back to move it forward. Huggins to Sykes. Sometimes it's an adventure here with the clearing game. Sykes moves that ball up to Montgomery. Montgomery, high stepping, clears the ball. ESD with a little bit of flavor right now. Montgomery presses in transition. Jesuit's not set. Big shout out to Clayton Mulford. Kid's the man, AG. All the ESD seventh graders who made the trip down. Auden Wabrek. Here's Will Stroud with the ball. He's not a seventh grader. He's four, number 14, though. He's carrying the ball of pressure. He's got a short stick. He does not need to give the ball to Richie Loftus. He has the matchup. He gets underneath. Kind of just throws it on Cage. 
not necessarily the shot that you want with that possession, Coach. Yeah, he was very hesitant to dodge right off the bat. So you knew that when he got inside, he may not love the shot that he takes, but he was a little impatient. Here's transition for Jesuit. They clear the ball. Jesuit settles in. Here's Lee Bellant. Four to two, ESD up. Six minutes left here in the third quarter. Who has the ball right there? That's Jason Myers. Jason Myers moves the ball over the top to Jackson Buell. Here's a ball side pick by Lee Belland. Gets his feet set. They move the ball down the alley through X. Attack the backside. Hitch and go. Tries to get a shot off. It's right in front of the cage. Charlie Sykes with a big GB. Moves it to Winston Guillory. Doesn't handle it cleanly. Looks to clear the ball. Throws the ball up and over to Preston Crow. Preston Crow nonchalantly one hands it. Now he's got some pressure. Hank likes. Big rangy guy. Ball's on the ground. Center tries to make a little nifty pickup. That probably had to do with the fact that Preston Crow played a long defensive shift there. And here the ball gets moved up. Gav Gonsalves here with a big GB. ESD trying to clear the ball the right way. Ball's on the ground again. Huggins carries. Whack. Take that. Here, Romano. Please run fast. And he does. Pushes. Gets underneath. You take him. Sidewinder. Barry. Shooter Barry having a tough time. Would have liked to have seen him put that in his left hand. Just one touch that in. Goethals with the laser. Clear it. They're out. Couple of possessions here. ESD is squandered. They're pushing. That might that could bite them in the fourth quarter. It's a little warm out there. Here's good defense by Derek Gibson. I think this is the second midfield group. Kyle Casillas, James Schroeder. Here's Gav Gonsalves right here on Gavin McClure. Number 22, Gavin McClure. There's a three-yard double thrown at him. Gav Gonsalves doing a pretty good job. Here's a ball side pick. Ben Kelly applying pressure. They swing it. Fail to recover. Dodge down the alley. Trail check there by Huggins. Derek Gibson now on ball. Here's Will Carney. He sizes Huggins up, says nope. They attack the short stick. Derek Gibson. Derek Gibson gets his hands on, looks to drive. No call. Bounce, throw it over to Carney. Carney guarded by Huggins. The big boy, Carney looking to turn the corner. Ooh. Oh man, Will just got really hit. Flag down. Hold on, Derek Gibson. Which one? Where was that? I didn't see that either, Coach. Uh, but nonetheless, Jesuit with a man up. Will Carney shaking up. He just got hit in the head real quick. Man up. Is this a 30-second? They extend pressure. They get out. They're really wide. Jesuit's going to get a look here. Look for it to be Lee Bellin on a step down. Here's uh, Carney over to McClure. McClure looks to get top side. Cole Johnson's there. They move it over the top to Myers. Myers to Bellin, looking to rotate. Look to skip. Stick in the passing lane. Big ground ball here. Three Eagles out there. Jason Myers hits the deck. Looks like the penalty is released. This is a big ground ball. Good form tackle there by Gonsalves. Gets the ball to the backside and a bucket. Is that Kissick? Or, no, they didn't call it in the crease. Who was that, Jackson? 17. Jackson Buell. Well, 
lot of scrumming today, Coach. Yeah, the ball was on the ground there. Um, through look, tiptoe. ESD extended on the ground ball, so they were a little bit f too far out. That's a big GB there. ESD ball. Oh my gosh, overruled. Initially, that guy said it was the other way. Interesting. The guy in the box who made the call, who was right there, he was overturned. The man in the box. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Here's Jesuit with the ball. Exciting game here. 4 to 3, ESD up. 218 left. Jesuit able to convert on a 50 50 ground ball right there. 50 um, 50 ground ball. That was a 50-50 ground ball off of a man-up opportunity. Coach, what are you seeing here? ESD might be in a zone here. There's guys in the middle not covering really anyone. Paxton, Paxton Marks, freshman, long stick, number 29. They move the ball through X, attack the backside. Will Carney on the crease. Preston Crow on the ball, still on the ball. Gavin McClure moves it through X to Carney. Carney looks to turn the corner. Gets to a good spot on the field. Head up, moves the ball inside. Preston Crow somehow came out with it. Moves the ball up to Winston Guillory. Guillory with a wide receiver number, number 81, looks to balance it out. That was a fly route. Here's Barry. Barry's gonna wanna possess. Can't Falls do down. And Jesuits off to the races again. Fast break here, deflection. Center, making a play on a ground ball. This is where he really excels. Need to communicate there, two long sticks. Ground ball, another one. Here, Sam Romano, I'll take it, and I'm gonna run by all of you, because you're tired, and I'm gonna run a fast break. Loftus has the ball, still has it. ESD ball. So, two distinctly different styles of uh, attack. ESD getting transition goals. Jesuit getting possession goals. Whoa! That was gross. Thomas Fitz catches it, cross hand, wrap around. Are you kidding me? That was insane. Loft is drawing the double there. I'm sorry, I'm excitable. I get excited when I see attackmen do cool things. I was an attackman. I did cool things. ESD playing a little Keller ball, going to the cage early and often. <laughs> oh man. ESD up five to three, twenty-five point eight seconds left here in the third quarter. A telling quarter. ESD's kind of gone on a run. Oh, early on Joe. Here's Rooney with the ball. I'm going to settle for one shot here. <laughs> we love to possess. I don't know. Is that out of phase? Is that a, not a style anymore? That's not That's not cool. Why do you hate me in my possession? Loftus is a man. Right? He's a man. Fitz trying to run away from the ref because he's in the way. Just like that. Five to three. End of the third quarter, ESD making a run. Jesuits still, though, doing a great job. We have eclipsed a new a new plateau in our live streaming greatness. 500 viewers right now. So when you say, hey, don't worry, nobody's listening. Actually, we have 500 people listening. How do you feel about that? What's in your heart? What's in your mind? Still think it feels like no one's listening. Yeah, because we're just sitting here in a, in a booth here. In Friends, a little place we like to call Friendswood, Texas. I'm going to go ahead and say this. The people in Friendswood who have put this event on have been such gracious hosts. They've been really nice. The hospitality booth has been awesome. Chicken and sausage gumbo today. It was delicious. I know you liked it. 
I did. Yes. All right. What do you think about this game? Talk to me about ESD here in the third quarter. Talk to me about Jesuit. Uh, with a low-scoring game into going into the fourth quarter, each goal is, you know, magnified a little bit. It's uh, it's it's more important. And ESD seems to spring out and just get quick goals when you're not expecting them. Jesuit will try to possess. With only 12 minutes remaining, who does that favor? ESD's been a little more explosive in the transition opportunities. Well, it'll be interesting to see if they look to possess now. You know, Rooney gets a big ground ball. Or is that not their game? I don't I don't know if it is their game. I think it I think it can be. I think what they do a good job of is taking advantage of unsettled opportunities. All right? I really think they do a good job of that. Um, but I do think that they can grind out possession. I've seen them do it before. Oh, look at Ben Kelly. Nice little move. He's going to try and stay in. Okay. And then they get somebody else off. It's the wide world of substitution. Let's trap some guys on defense here. They want Levi Job on defense, don't mm -hmm. they? Mm-hmm. But he's not out and there. There he, he goes. Yeah. Now let's see if we can get a break here. Got numbers in the backside. Do they take advantage? Nope. John Michael Montgomery puts the ball on the ground. Matthew Reddish doing a good job trying to take away the top side. He's the only one riding for the ESD attack, though, so it's going to be tough. So they got the possession. They squandered the possession. Maybe Guillory should have just gone to the goal right when he got it. This is a big possession, both ways. Big defensive stop, big offensive goal. Right now, ESD is saying defense, defense, but more importantly, it's got to be a stop to a possession. They're going to invert. Jackson Buell behind the goal. Here's Asher Wabrick. He's being guarded by, or Jason Myers being guarded by Asher Wabrick. They look to show it, Jason. They bring it right back. Gab Gonsalves. Asher Wabrick guarding Jason Myers over the top. This is a favorable matchup for Jesuit. They slide. They th threw pass to Will Carney. Will Carney has the ball. Underhand. Nice little shot there by Will Carney with a guy draped all over him. Jesuit did a great job of pulling off defenders from their uh, original spots into other areas to take advantage of that. Made a couple passes. Drove down the alley. No slide came because they had already sli slid and, and relocated. And a great underhand shot. Had his stick in his glove. Still got it off. Yeah, that's a good shot there by Will Carney. You know, ESD had that offensive possession. Um, that was tough. Rooney won his first draw. And now here's Job again. Job getting to the rack. There's two massive possessions now for Jesuit here to begin the fourth quarter. Will Carney with the ball. They move the ball. Here's the second line group here for Jesuit. They walk it down again. They switch out. Gab Gonsalves on the ball. They swing it to McClure. Gab Gonsalves now on McClure. To Guillory. Guillory drives his man off. They look in.